In today's project we're going to do one, two, three. It's the one, two, three blanket today and this is a chevron pattern and you'll see that it's actually going to be quite easy to master. Let's begin that right after this. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today it's easy as one, two, three. Absolutely. It's a one, two, three blanket and this is using a chevron pattern. It comes with a stitching diagram. In this today's pattern I'm going to show you a few things that are, are involved in this particular pattern. I'm going to show you how to do the waves. Also going to show you how to change colors. You'll notice that there's massive stripes so that there's a lot of yarn here. It says there are 20 rows for every different color that you see A, B and C for the colors. And so it's just a matter of doing that. You can change the colors as often as you wish. And what we're going to be needing today is we're needing Bernat Blanket Yarn today. So this is a Bernat Brights. This is the variegated version of this. There's also a Bernat Blanket for Baby as well as just regular Bernat Baby for home decor. And so for this if you want to do exactly what you're seeing here for this generous size of afghan at 46 inches by 46 you're going to need two balls of one color, two balls of another and two balls of the final color. And so it reminds me of kind of like primary colors kind of a toy box idea. And let's review this crochet chart because I'm going to show you how to change the sizes of this particular project too. So within today's pattern you can either chain 100 that it's asking you to do and you can match exactly what you see in the pattern or you can do what is in the multiples. So you'll notice that every one of the chevrons is made up of a multiple number in order to do it. So you got one chevron here, two, and three. If you would like to change the size the magic number for the starting chain is 14. So if you chain 14 okay and then again 14 and then again 14 you can do as many as you wish. Just know that when you change the size of the pattern it will change the yarn quantity as well. At the very end of your chain you're gonna add three. So it's multiples of chaining of 14 and then keep going 14, 14, 14 and when you're satisfied with it you're gonna add three at the very end in order to keep it in balance. So today it's asking for a nine millimeter size M crochet hook today. I do not have that in stock. I'm using an eight millimeter size L. That means that my afghan will be slightly smaller but if you cannot find a nine millimeter um, then you can go for an eight if you wish or upgrade it to a ten. That's completely up to you. So I also have a ten but just know if you go even higher you will use more yarn as well and you can make that choice up and that's up to you. So let's begin. I'm gonna start off with a slip knot. Okay, this is considered an easy level pattern, not a beginner's. If you are a beginner, just take your time. So remember what I said. You can either chain 100 and get exactly what's in the pattern or you can be customizing it to whatever size that you wish. Just know that when you go in a chevron is that the chain would be a different length once it goes to a chevron. So you notice how the string is like this in a chevron format. It's going down and then back up but if you put it out to a chain, look at the difference. Okay, so just remember that your starting chain matters. So when you're going to hold it out and say oh it's enough, just don't forget you're gonna have to do your dips so to get a real accurate length. So without further ado, let's uh, chain 14. I'm gonna do multiples of 14. You can do 100 if you wish. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. So there is one chevron there. So you're thinking wow that's big. Don't forget it has to bend. So it's not as wide as you think it is. So let's do another one of 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. So there is my second group of 14. I'm not caring about how many groups I have. I'm more caring about the length of the chain in this particular instance and when I'm satisfied with it which I'm about to be now is that I'm gonna add three at the end. So get to the length that you want and then add three. So one, two and three and then you'll have the proper balance in order to do this pattern. So either chain 100 or chain in multiples of 14 and then add three chains at the very end once you're satisfied. When you're looking at the crochet diagram you're going to notice that there is an increase every time you hit to the top of the chevron. So we're adding all these extra stitches and the reason why we're adding stitches there because in the bottom see how these three stitches become one. So you in order to get the up and down motion you have to add extra to the top and subtract at the bottom. So the bottoms we are, the last final three here become one and the final three here become one but at the top the final one becomes an extra three and the, this one becomes an extra three. So as you're eliminating on the bottom you're increasing on the top. So on the sides here we're actually on the top and we're gonna go down 
and then up and down, up and down and we're gonna finish in the up motion. So it's easier to do a pattern like this where both of the sides are equal to each other versus ending the pattern right without that final. It would be a lot harder to remember the steps. So when both sides are equal just like you see here it's a lot easier to remember. So let's uh, start now. We're gonna go fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, sorry, one, two, three and four and we're gonna turn it over and get the back hump only and we're gonna double crochet. So fourth chain from the hook, double crochet and we're gonna double crochet one more time in that same stitch. So because of that chaining of that we just skipped plus these two that is the top of your your chevron and now we're gonna work in the down motion. The nice thing about this pattern is that whenever you're not in a top or at a bottom there's always gonna be three double crochets that stand by itself. So the next three are gonna be one double crochet each. So one and go into the next one for two and the next one for three. Okay, so you had your top. These three are together. Here is your standalone right that's going down. So the next three are now going to come together as one. So how we do that, it's called three together. And what we're going to uh, double crochet three together. So we're gonna wrap the hook going into the next stitch and pulling it through and pull through two and hold that on the hook. Do not finish it. So we're gonna wrap the hook and going to the next chain do the same thing. In, pull through, pull through two and hold. And we're gonna do it one more time. We need to put three stitches together. This is the starting loop here so that's not a stitch. These two are. So we want a total of four loops on the hook before you put everything together. So I'm just gonna come into the final next stitch. Pull through two and hold. So now you have your four loops on there. Yarn over and pull through all four. So there is the top here and it's going down. Physically you cannot see it yet but it will be very evident in just a few moments. So now you are ready to come up the other side. So the first three are going to be together. So wrap the hook going in, pull through, pull through two and hold. Going into the next stitch, pull through, pull through two and hold. Next one, okay pull through two and hold. So you got four loops back on your hook, wrap and pull through all four. So there's the other side of the bottom of the chevron. So the next three are going to be by themselves. So just double crochet the next three by themselves. The wonderful thing about this pattern is that every one of the rows are the same uh, once you get beyond row number two. So it's a really quite an easy pattern to remember. So then these three are by themselves and then we're at the top of the next chevron. And it looks like in my filming studio I got extra yarn that is coming from my <laughs> my work and let me uh, just get that out of the way. So now you can physically see you're at the top and it's coming down and now we're at the top on the other side. So in the next stitch three double crochets are gonna be into the next stitch. So one, so going into the same one for two and going into the same one again for three. So as we eliminated three chains out in order to complete the bottom of the chevron we added three double crochets into the same stitch. So let's go down the other side. So it's gonna start off with three double crochets in the first one. Okay so that's the other side of the of the top of the chevron. So if you look at the top of the chevron there's three double crochets one side of it and three double crochets on the other before it goes in the down motion. The next three are going to be one double crochet each. So this is kinda like the way in between the top and the bottom. Okay, you really start seeing the waves now. And now we're at the bottom again. So the next three are going to be three together. So I'm gonna speed up a little bit. So coming in, pull through, pull through two and hold. And you do that till you get four loops on your hook. So you keep going for more chains and there's a total of three of them that you need which gives you four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all four. Now we're gonna come up the other side. The next three are gonna be together. One, two, and three. So now you got four loops on the hook. Pull through all four. 
and now this is the final coming up to the end. So you're gonna go, keep going up and down, up and down, all the way across and now I'm gonna come up the other side. So there's gonna be three double crochets by themselves. So one and if your math is right, you will have the right amount of stitches left. So this is the third one standing by itself. I have one stitch left and on the very final stitch you're gonna put three double crochets into the same one. So now it's in balance. So you've now gone up and down just like you see in the photo, in the picture there. So let's turn our work and go for row number two which is identical but now that we're not working with the chain it's a lot easier. So I'm gonna turn our work and I'm going to go across once more with the blue and then I'm gonna show you how to change color and then you're basically on your own. So we're gonna chain up three to begin. So one, two, three that counts as a double crochet and into the same stitch from where that's coming out of you're gonna add two more double crochets. So we're gonna keep that momentum going where the tops are adding extra stitches and the bottoms we're eliminating. So the next three in a row will be one double crochet each. So one, two and three and now we're gonna eliminate stitches. So the next three in a row that you can see here and you will see that you have one here that looks like all three are together which they are and you'll have two here. So those, those become one. So just gonna keep, keep going with three together and the final one is the first one of the group of three on this side. You got four loops on your hook, pull through all four and now go up the other side but the first three have to be together. So this is the other side. You see that they're grouped. So that's the first one and you keep going until you get four loops on your hook. So you just keep gathering and then pull through all four loops. So we're gonna come up the other side now. So it's gonna be three double crochets by themselves. So one, two and three and here's the neat thing about it. We, in the row below we had three that went into the same one. The end one, the, okay this one here is the one that's gonna get an additional three this time around. So if you can look for those signs um, you can actually save yourself some counting. So that was coming up on the one side and now we're gonna go down. So you see that there's a group of three. The first one is gonna have three in this one before we go down. So one, two and three and then we start moving down. So three in a row of double crochets. So one, two and three and now we're at the bottom again. So you can see that there's a group of three here which is the final one here and then there's two right before it. So those three become one with three together. Okay, pull through all four loops and go up the other side pulling the first three together. So here's the one so look for the signs. So you're gonna keep doing that all the way across and I'm coming up to the other side now already. So I'm just gonna pull through all four. The next three are three by themselves. So one and this should leave me with one extra stitch at left over for the final which it does. So the very final one here is the turning chain and that's the very final one and I wanna go into a turning chain. Don't go into a space. Go into a turning chain for three double crochets. So one two and three. So you're gonna do a total of for this particular pattern if you want it. It's 20 rows of doing all the same color but you can change the colors as often as you wish. Let me show you how I would change color. So for me I would take my scissors and cut about eight inches of the string and just yarn over and pull that string through and finish it off completely. So let's turn our work and I wanna grab another color. In this case I'm gonna grab sunshine yellow. What's this pattern actually called? school bus yellow it's called. It reminds me of the sky and the sun and I'm gonna create a slip knot to put it on my hook. So what we just did in the last row is the repeat for the entire whole project. So what we just did here is gonna continue to happen and happen and happen. All it is is a different color. So you're gonna insert it into the very top of the first stitch and keeping the straggler down and keeping the new straggler with it you want to work those into the stitches and bury it. 
So just yarn over and pull through. That's like a slip stitch. Pull everything nice and tight. And I wanna chain up three. So one, two, three counts as a double crochet and I wanna double crochet two more times into the same stitch. So you have a total of three just like you're supposed to at the end. So the next three are gonna be three single crochets. Noticing that I'm putting these down on top so that they get stuck underneath the stitches. So stick it in, keep those down on top of the line and double crochet right over top of them. Therefore you don't gotta worry about any tails and if you want to you can just use um, a darning needle at the end if you have to. So three uh, double crochets are now by themselves and now we're going to continue along the bottom. So we gotta come up back up the other side. So I think I'm in enough. I'm gonna put these out to the side and the next three are gonna be together. Okay, so you can see that there's the group of three here and two by itself. So we're just gonna put those together like I showed you already. Okay, and the final one here. So there should be four loops on the hook which there is now. Pull through and now I'm gonna come up the other side. So the first three are gonna be together. So just keep gathering them. So you're eliminating stitches in the bottom like I promised and then adding more stitches to the tops. So now those are together. So now we're gonna move up. The next three are gonna be double crochets by themselves. So one, two and three. And now the next one here, if you look at it, it's the group of three. See it, it's the first one there. That's the one right in the middle. You're gonna add three double crochets there. One, that's the very top. So you're adding extra stitches here. And now we're gonna come down the other side. So the first one is gonna be three double crochets first before we go down. And then we start moving down. So the next three are gonna be one double crochet each. So one, two, and three. Okay, and the next three are by themselves. Sorry, the next three are gonna be together because we're at the bottom. So we're just gonna put those together. Okay, got your four loops on the hook, pull it through. Now you're gonna come up the other side. The first three are together. And that's all you're gonna do on this pattern. It's just what I've already kind of shown you. I'm just using a different color. Put them together. So you're gonna go back and forth, up and down like so and then the very end one just like you're seeing here the last, the next three are, to, are one double crochet by itself. So one, two and three and you have one more stitch left which is the turning chain. So don't go into a gap space, go right into the chain itself and place three double crochets. So you can change color as often as you wish if you wanted just a single color of the yellow and then switching to something else. You can, um, so you don't always have to change color on the same side of the project. But this is how you would do this. This is the one, two, three blanket. It's easy as one, two, three and once you master it, kind of stretch everything out. It actually looks amazing and it's really cool project at the same time. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Have a great day and we'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.